Hi guys, I was going to post this review uh, next month, but I can't seem to stop using the products, so I'm doing it a little bit early. So I was gifted by the lovely people over at Coconut, I think that's how you pronounce it, their Perfect Curl in Three Steps set, uh, and that is what I am going to be reviewing today. So in this little sort of set, kit thing, whatever you want to call it, there's three products. We've got the Curl Booster, we've got the Curl Spray, and the Capillary Argan Serum. So I'm going to go through them one by one. The overall kit is about £51, so it's not exactly budget friendly. But yeah, we're going to go through it one by one now. So each... Well, these two bottles have little QR codes on the back that you can scan. I personally haven't tried them yet because I just like to wing it. But if you're unsure on how to use it, apparently these QR codes on the Curl Booster and the spray, they sort of give instructions on how to use it depending on your hair type. So that's pretty that's pretty helpful. Because obviously um, each sort of head of hair is different. So people with thick, curly, coily hair will need to use it differently to the uh, people with sort of finer, softer, wavier hair. So that's a positive straight away. So we'll start with the Curl Booster because this is what I use first. Um, it's got a little sort of pump bottle. It's a 250 milliliter bottle. And looking at the ingredients, I don't know if you can see them, so I might have to put a picture up. Um, as I'm talking, it's got glycerin quite high up in the ingredients list, which as we all know by now, glycerin is a humectant, so it pulls moisture in from the air, and it's got a lot of plant oils in it, so it's very rich and very moisturising. And if I take the lid off and show you guys, because I'm not wasting it by dispensing it into my hand, you can see it's a sort of lightweight, milky liquid. So the Curl Spray, as the name suggests, it has one of these uh, spray tops. It's 125 millilitres and it advertises itself as alcohol free. So despite the fact it's a spray bottle, it's not got any sort of drying alcohols in it. And it is medium hold. It says that it is a styling product and a curl refresher. So this is a sort of two-in-one product. So I will try and show you guys without spilling it everywhere. I don't think it's gonna let me. Basically, if you see the droplets coming down, it's very watery texture and it's sort of a pale yellow color. So I would say this looks a little bit like lemon juice if you're interested in what it looks like. Um, yeah, and as I say, it advertises itself as medium hold. And then lastly, we've got the Capillary Argan Serum. So this is a 30 milliliter bottle. Obviously, it's quite dinky. Um, I was really interested by this. It's a dropper tip, and this is actually... I don't know if it's going to let me do it. It's a glass dropper tip and a glass bottle, so be careful. And it's this sort of yellow, rich serum. And let's just have a quick scan at the ingredients. This is mostly various plant oils. So it's a really rich moisturizing serum. So I'm gonna now scooch across and try something fancy. I'm gonna put how I used this kit set thing uh, as I'm talking because I filmed it last night and now I'm gonna talk about it. So I started off with clean wet hair. Um, I just did my usual wash day routine. I detangled with Child's Farm conditioner and washed with the Cantu shampoo. I then raked in a little bit of the Boots Curl Cream just to give my hair some slip so I could detangle it easily. I then used one pump of the Curl Booster per section of my hair. So I raked it through. I'm just trying to remember what I was doing. I raked it through. I then brush styled using my Denman D3 brush. 
so I brushed up and under to create ribbon curls. I then sprayed each section with the curl spray and then gave it a nice little scrunch just to really help those curls pop up and spring back and be as bouncy as possible. I then did that method for my whole head. Then what I did was I wrapped my hair in a towel, I don't know what's going on with my voice today, wrapped my hair up in an old pyjama top as a sort of wet plop buff hybrid just to let my hair soak in the products and I would say I left that on for probably about an hour and then took it off and micro popped so I just gently scrunched my hair with a with the same top. I can't remember then if I sprayed my hair with this again. I feel like I might have done, but I can't remember. So it's not gonna hurt if you did want to put a little bit of this added curl spray on just to give your hair a little bit of extra hold. Um, I then air dried it. I rocked the cast. So I'm gonna put here, this is what my cast looked like before I went to bed. I protected it overnight by just having it in a buff. Um, so that's just the cylindrical piece of fabric on my hair. I didn't bother putting it in a ponytail inside the buff, which I sometimes do. And then I used four drops per side of my head of the capillary argan serum to scrunch out the crunch, uh, just to make sure I break that cast, that hard crunchy shell around my hair. Uh, gave my hair a really good fluff because it was feeling a little bit stuck down at the roots and then finished off by just, which I'm gonna do again now because they keep going back together, separated out some of these bigger clumps. And here we are. So I am gonna get the negatives out of the way now because you know, I always like to end my videos on a positive. Um, obviously the price is, if you're on a budget, it's about 51 pounds for this, for the three products. So it's not exactly budget friendly, however, Depending on how long these products last, it might be worth investing. Also the smell. So I'll go through them one by one. This is just pure personal preference, by the way. I'm not saying they smell bad because they don't. It's just, I tend to prefer sort of the more sweeter, floral, fruity sort of fragrances. So let's start with the Curl Booster. Give it a little sniffers. So it smells really fresh and really clean. And I will admit the smell is growing on me. When I first started using it, I did not like it, but I've obviously got used to it now. Um, like I said, it smells really fresh. It smells sort of citrusy, almost sort of lemony. Yeah, like a sort of lemony, citrusy fragrance. Um, so as I say, it is growing on me now, I will admit, but I do still prefer the sort of more fruity floral fragrances. And the Curl Spray. It smells, this is gonna sound weird. It makes me think of my granddad. So it's sort of, again, sort of citrusy, sort of sugary and like old fashioned sweets. So like a sort of lemon sherbet or a barley sugar that sort of a smell um so it's not quite as strong smelling as this but it is a slightly different sort of scent and then the argan oil serum uh, capillary argan serum sorry this i will admit i'm not i'm not 100 a fan of this it smells sort of quite musty almost it's obviously all the different fruit um all the different plant oils that are in this um but yeah, it's sort of, to me, it just smells a little bit sort of musty, not, it smells a little bit old almost, sort of stale. But again, that is just personal preference. If you like, because I know some people do sort of like the sort of more musky, sort of sultry smells. Um, so as I say, these products don't smell bad. It's just not my personal preference. But the positives far outweigh the negatives. So all of these products, even this really rich serum, they are all very lightweight on my hair. I was really impressed when I first used it, when I was raking through, particularly the Curl Booster. It was 
sort of just glided, glowed, glided over my hair. It was really lightweight and just it felt like it wasn't weighing my hair down at all. The Curl Booster as well, this, like I say, advertises itself as a medium hold styling product and curl refresher. So you would think that it's sort of, as I say, medium hold, you wouldn't get that much of a cast. But when I use this, like, I don't know if it's the combination of the two, but I find when I use them, my cast goes rock solid. And that's, as a result, you can see my hair has got very, very little frizz. These products, they're also um, ethical, which I know is important to some people. So it advertises itself as natural and toxic free. It's 99% natural ingredients, these two. This is 100% natural ingredients, 23% organic. They're also, I think all three of them, yeah, they're all vegan and cruelty free. And I'm not sure why on here, why it hasn't on here, but these two uh, are PETA approved. All the packaging, I'm just double checking if this is. These two at the very least are recyclable. So these aren't gonna go landfill. I feel like this is because of the glass, but I'm just sort of trying to scan through. It doesn't say anything. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm not sure if this is recyclable because maybe because of the dropper tip, but I feel like the glass bottle at least, maybe. So, like I said, I'm sort of waiting to see how well these are gonna last. This feel, they both still feel quite full, which is given I've used them quite a lot. Um, so for this, I use one pump per sort of section of my head. So that's probably one, four, I use probably about eight pumps of this in one go. And this, I just sort of spray randomly over my hair. So I feel like this is probably gonna run out first. But again, it still feels, so I can see. So yeah, it's probably about half full still. And the serum, I feel like this is gonna last the longest because if it'll let me show you, I don't know if it will because of all the writing. So it's down to about there. And the first time I used this, I did actually spill half of it. So given you only need to use eight drops, well, I only need to use eight drops for my whole head. I feel like this is gonna last ages because like I said, I've spilt half of it in one go, which I was devastated at, but uh, since then, it doesn't look like it's particularly gone down any further. So that sort of sums up the products itself. So if we look at the results, you can see my hair is really bouncy. You can see that the curls are really defined. As I said, there's no, well, there is a little bit of frizz, but I always get that. My hair feels soft. It feels healthy. I will say as well, when the products are all sort of combined together, they do complement each other quite well. They're not sort of contrasting smells. So yeah, my hair doesn't smell particularly bad when I use it. Just give it a little sniff. Yeah, the smells all mixed together when combined also with my shampoo and conditioner, they do make my hair smell nice. And like I said, my hair feels healthy and shiny and bouncy and happy. So that's it for today guys. I think I've said everything I need to say. Thank you guys for watching. As always, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share and I will see you soon. Bye bye. <clears throat> there, I think that's how you pronounce it. They're perfect, perfect. I started off with Queen and <clears throat> I hate you this so bad today. That feels like it was really quick. <laughs>